Ole here, and in today's video, we're breaking down Michael Thomas's 2019 game film, and I'm gonna give you three reasons outside of him being an absolute beast that makes him one of the top receivers in the NFL. Who got next? I got next. If you want it, come and get it. Who got next? I got next. I'm about to go and win it. Who got next? Now, before we jump right into the film, I want to show you his stats over the last four years to kind of show the kind of domination that he's really had on the field. In 2016, he had 92 catches for 1,137 yards. In 2017, he had 104 catches for 1,245 yards. In 2018, he had 125 catches for 1,405 yards. And in the 2019 season, he had 149 catches for 1,725 yards and nine touchdowns. Not only did he rack up all of those catches and yards over the last four years, in that same time span, he's also caught 32 touchdowns. 32 touchdowns. That goes to show that it wasn't just one big season or two seasons where he played at a high level. He's played at a high level over the last four seasons. And if you look at his numbers, his numbers have increased each and every season. So let's dive into his film and identify what he's doing on the field that's really helping him to have that level of production. The first thing that really jumped out to me when watching his film was his technique. Not only was he technique sound, but he used his technique to exploit the defense. So here we're looking at Mike Thomas. He's at the top of the screen. What I want you to pay attention to here is I want you to watch his hands at the line of scrimmage. Whenever he was in the press technique like he is here, he would always use his hands and fire his hands at the line of scrimmage. And what that helps you to do is it, it makes it harder for the defensive back to time when they want to jam you. And so this is something that he, he constantly did. He was good with his hands at the line of scrimmage, throws off the timing of that defensive back. And then I want you guys to watch his right foot on this release. So he has his hand chatter. And then right here, his right foot, he stabs his right foot inside. And the reason he does this is because he knows he has man coverage. Right here, this defensive back has to cover him if he goes outside, if he comes inside, as well as if he goes over the top. So right here, once he stabs his right foot inside, watch this defensive back's left foot. His left foot has to counter what, what Michael Thomas is showing him. And when, when he stabs that left foot inside, what he does is he opens the gate and he allows that free release to the outside. Here we're gonna go to a look in the Carolina game and it's the same thing. Got man coverage. Watch what he does. Again, he's gonna close that distance first and then look at that hand cheddar that he uses. As he closes that distance and approaches that defensive back, using that hand cheddar makes it hard for that defensive back to time when they're gonna jam you. As he gets up on him and closes that distance, he again uses that right foot to show him an outside release. And then look what happens. He sticks that right foot in the ground and look what happens to this defensive back. He falls on his heels and he's leaning to the outside on that left hip. That's all Michael Thomas needs to get inside. Quarterback does a great job of finding him up and over the top of the safety. So at this play, we're looking at the bottom of your screen. And what you're gonna see here is that we have a cover two, some kind of cloud coverage. Safeties are wide. The corner's gonna give a free release. And so what Michael Thomas does, knowing that it's going to be cover two and using his technique, he doesn't waste any time at this corner. He knows that this corner right here isn't covering him, man, and isn't covering him step for step. He's only covering this outside zone. Perfect. So what he does great here in his technique is not one, not wasting any time with the corner. And then two, right here, he threatens the safety vertically up the field. By threatening the safety vertically up the field, it makes that safety stay back. The safety has to respect his responsibility of covering this inside zone here, as well as this outside zone here. And by threatening him vertically, he holds that safety in that spot longer than he wants to stay there. The quarterback's able to throw him open towards the sideline, and it's a big first down in the game. This little technique right here is, is something that a lot of receivers make mistakes on. You know, they know they have this cloud corner, they know that they have that free release pretty much. And so what they do, or the mistake that they make is right here, rather than pushing up the field and threatening that safety back and getting him on his heels, making him respect both the inside and outside, they're impatient and rather than pushing up the field, they cut to that outside. And what that does is it allows the safety to drive on the play. So again, with that vertical pressure on the stem of this route, 
he makes that safety cover a three-way go. The safety has to cover him over the top, he has to cover him to the inside, and he has to cover him to the outside as well. That's his responsibility. But because of this vertical stem, he makes it hard on the safety, he makes him cover that grass, and that's what allows this big play in the game. On this play here, Mike Thomas has what we call a safety eight. So what's gonna happen is, there's gonna be play action in the backfield, but if the safety bites up on that play action, Mike Thomas is gonna keep going and run all the way to the goal, the goal post. If the safety drops back and doesn't respect the play action, Mike Thomas is gonna end up shutting it down at about 18 to 20 yards. So here he's got a cloud technique. I want you to watch his technique on his release and watch how he doesn't waste any time at this corner. And then again, just like that last clip, he threatens that safety, safety vertically up the field making him respect and cover that grass that he's responsible for. And then because he has that safety eight route and the safety's falling back, he ends up shutting this thing down. The quarterback's landmark is to throw the ball right at the back of his helmet. And again, it's another big completion for a first down in the game. Going through Mike Thomas's film, I could have made a teach tape on how to run the slant route. If I'm a receiver and I wanna get better at that slant route, I'm watching Mike Thomas's film. So here he's at the bottom of the screen. Again, we have man coverage. Watch his technique. So even though he didn't get the ball in this play, look how wide open he is. Let's run this one back and just break down his technique. So here he's got man coverage, defensive backs in his face. Now, what he does here is he changes up his release. So rather than getting up there, showing him his hands and, and stabbing and stacking him one way and breaking the other way like he has in the last few clips, in this one, he uses more of a speed release where he just dips inside threatens his, his, his corner up the field, lean, and sticks away. Another great release here, and a nice change of pace release based on everything we've seen so far. It just goes to show the type of technique that he has and that he's, that he's versatile with his technique. It's not just the same thing over and over. I mean, like I said, there, time and time again on these slant routes, he was executing, he used different technique, he used different tempos versus different coverages, but he just was clean with his technique every time. And, and the thing that he did was he always made that defender cover grass. If he was trying to release inside and it was a man coverage, he showed that defensive back outside and threatened him there, but not right away. After he closed that distance between himself and the defensive back to make that defensive back have to react to that move great technique and something that all receivers can learn from. The second thing that really jumped out when I was watching his film is that he runs every route to win and he, he just really wants it more than his opponent. Let's go to the film and, and break these down. So here Mike Thomas is at the top of your screen and here's what I mean by running the route to win. I want you to watch his get off here. Watch when the ball snapped and I, wanna, I want you to watch who's the first person off this ball. I mean, he, he jumps off that ball like almost like he shot out of a cannon. It almost looks like he's off sides because he's getting such a great get off. This just goes to really illustrate how he runs routes to win. He uses every available advantage and tries to use that to his advantage. And as simple as getting off the ball on time, dictating the tempo in your route, it just, it just helps you to win your route because that defensive back has to react to what you're doing. And, and this simple clip of him just getting off the ball shows how he runs routes to win. All right, so here Mike Thomas is at the top of your screen. And I want you to watch the urgency in his route and how he runs this route to win it. Now he's got man coverage, comes off, throws his defender by, finish, finishes in the end zone. Let me run that one back one more time just so you can really break down and see how he runs this route to win. Now this, you know, it isn't a clean look as far as running your route. It's man coverage, so you gotta win. You know, especially in the red zone, defensive backs don't back up the same. They play to your tendencies and all those things. But the thing he does on this route is he runs it to win. He gets up, he's physical with that defensive back. Watch his left hand right here and watch how he throws this defensive back by. Right there. He throws he, right on the hip. He hits that hip, spins the defensive back around, and he just he just more competitive than the defensive back on this play. He dictated the, the tempo from the snap on this play, and really the defensive back didn't even really have a chance. 
So here we're looking at Mike Thomas. He's in the slot here at the top of your screen. So this route that he has on this play is called a crossing A. So the landmark of where this quarterback's looking to throw you this ball, where you want to be open at, is two yards outside of the numbers on the opposite side of the field. So he knows that. And so in his release, you know, he feels this corner undercutting. And so what he does is he just takes a higher angle and he continues to run to his landmark. I mean, on this play, the defender even knows what route he's running. He undercuts the route, anticipates the throw. He, he knows exactly what's coming. But this is just another example of him running the route to win, wanting it more than his defender, and finishing the play. We're looking at Mike Thomas at the top of the screen here. Got man coverage. Ooh, I like that there. I'm gonna run that back. So here he's got a Colorado route. It's kind of like a slant, like a short post corner, a slant, breaking it to the outside. So again, this is man on man, tight red zone. Feels condensed, it's harder to convert, but he wants it more than this defensive back. He does a great job with this technique like we've pointed out earlier. Physical on the route. And look at the finish of this play. I mean, if you're a defensive back and you give up a, a, a catch in front of the end zone, you're doing everything you can to keep this receiver out of the zone. And watching this play, who do you think wants it more? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, look at this. He's dictating the tempo. Obviously, he's trying to score. He's physical. He catches that ball, but right here is when the play really just starts. Now here, let's show you another example on a, on a simple route that really illustrates the fact that he wants it more than his defensive back on every play. So here we have Mike Thomas at the top of the screen, got man coverage, and this is just a simple stop or like a hitch route, like a locked hitch. So here on the release, the DB's in, in perfect position. He got his hands on him, he's widened him towards the sideline, He's in his hip pocket. The DB is exactly where he wants to be. But that's where that want comes to and running to win the route. Now watch here at the finish. Right here, they're hip to hip. But then Mike Thomas uncovers himself and finishes that play. Now, although he didn't get the first down on this play, I'm not sure if it was third down. Let's, let's take a look. It was only second down, so it didn't matter. But it just goes to show, even on a simple route, like a stop route, things like this are what scouts look for. Things like this are what coaches on that next level are looking for. So in your game film, these are things that you wanna have jump off the film. Things like finishing with physicalness, things like dictating the tempo, things like showing your defender that you want it more than them, and you're showing that based on how you're performing, based on your tempo, based on how you're executing. It's big time and it's something that you should really be taking notes on and adding to your game. So here Mike Thomas is in the slot. He's gonna come in motion all the way across the formation and then he's gonna have that crossing eight that we just broke down. So he's gonna be running all the way across the field, landmark two yards outside of the op opposite numbers. So as the ball snapped here, let's take a look. He's got two guys bracketing him on this coverage. He knows his landmark, he knows where he has to run. Let's see how it plays out. It's a big time play. I mean, check this out, let me run this back. Check this out. This guy ran 25 yards in motion. He then runs 40 yards to the opposite numbers. He beats two guys, goes up, grabs the ball, still gets up and plays through the whistle to try to score. Now, obviously he was touched on this play, so he was, he was called down. But I mean, it's a clear illustration of him flat out wanting it more than his opponent, of him outworking his opponent. And these are the things that you wanna have popping out on your film. This, this one right here is one of my favorite ones. So here we got man coverage, empty backfield, so the safety really is able to, to double, double coverage on this, on this play. And on this play, they have the perfect play called as far as the defense is concerned. 
The safety is going to kind of double up on Mike Thomas, who's in the slot. The corner knows that he has inside help, so he knows that he can kind of funnel him in. And, and they're really in, in, in the perfect play design for this call that's, that's being called. Now, as the play's snapped, let's watch what happens. Mike Thomas does a great job at the line of scrimmage with this technique, which we've already, already broken down. But I want you to watch this right here. I'm gonna run that back one more time. This right here, there's certain points of a game where, where the coach is kind of taken out, right? The, the play's called, um, and then the players just gotta make plays. And that's exactly what's happening in this play right here. You know, the, the defense has a defense called that is really drawn up perfectly for this play design, but it doesn't matter. He wins inside, he grabs that ball, and because he wants it more, he shakes off that safety, he beats that corner again to get into the end zone. I mean, it just, it just highlights and shows point blank period how much more he wants it more than his defenders. I think you're getting the point of him outworking his opponent, but I wanna show you a couple run plays here. Now this is a mistake a lot of receivers make in games is that they use run plays to take them off, but not Mike Thomas. So Mike Thomas is at the bottom of your screen here. Now it's a run play, but what he's gonna do is he's gonna be using that same technique that we talked about earlier in this video, using that hand chatter, closing that distance and making that defender cover grass. You know, a lot of times at receiver, Receivers try to use these run plays to catch their breath and all those things. But as a receiver, you wanna do just like Mike Thomas is doing. You wanna work your releases. You wanna set up your next release. You wanna see how that DB's reacting to your releases. And when you do that over the course of a game, the DB can't really dictate, okay, this is a pass play or this is a run play because every play you're going hard. Every play you're giving that release. Every play, you know, you're making, making him cover that grass. So it's another huge point that, especially if you're a receiver, something to learn from, that we wanna use every opportunity to make that defender cover you, make that defender work, cover that grass, and, and also use that information so that early in the game on those run plays, you're, you're able to set up those releases that you're gonna use later in the third and fourth quarter. The third thing that really jumped off the film is that regardless of who the quarterback was, the quarterback always had the confidence that he would win on the play and that he would win his route. Now to show you some clips to really break this down, Mike Thomas here is at the bottom of your screen. Got man coverage. And right here, for quarterbacks looking at this picture, Mike Thomas is covered. Really the only throw that you can make in this, in this scenario is a back shoulder throw. And that's exactly what the quarterback does. If you look right now, Mike Thomas is covered, but look at your quarterback. Look what the quarterback's doing. The quarterback's already throwing the ball. The ball's already coming out of his hand. And the ball's coming out of his hand with the receiver in this position because of the level of confidence that Drew Brees has in Mike Thomas executing at the finish of this play. Just a great job. Now here, going back to that 49er game, Mike Thomas again is in the slot up top. This is that crossing eight route that we've seen. But this time, this is what I want you to see. I want you to really focus on the whole picture here. Three guys in there. Nothing is telling the quarterback to throw this ball other than I think my guy's better than yours. And on this play, Mike Thomas is. And on the season, more times than not, Mike Thomas is. Great job finishing the play. Great job executing. And again, it just shows him dictating the tempo, running routes to win, and finishing the play physically. Now this, this play here, we've also seen again, but again, I wanna show you this play from a different perspective. So on this play, the thing I want you to notice is who the quarterback is here. So on this play, the quarterback is Teddy Bridgewater, who's the Saints backup. So we've seen the motion, he's coming across, he's gonna run that crossing eight. Look at the quarterback on this play. The quarterback is flush from the pocket, Mike Thomas is double covered on the play, and he still has the confidence and trust that Mike Thomas is gonna come down with this ball. I mean, it's a big time throw, but it's, the, it's a big time catch. And it, again, it just shows the level of confidence that the quarterback has in him. 
And I think that this one really highlights because this is a backup quarterback. And a lot of times your backup quarterback's gonna, he's not as familiar with the starters and he's gonna more kind of go by the book. If it's a double covered, he's gonna come off and kind of find a check down. But for him to still try to find a way to get Mike Thomas this ball, it just shows the level of confidence that he has in him to make this play. One more clip to really just kind of illustrate the level of confidence that his quarterbacks have in him. Mike Thomas is here at the bottom of the screen. The quarterback on this play is Taysom Hill. And Taysom's kind of their utility guy that they use at receiver. They use him at tight end, they use him at running back. He also plays quarterback. So on this play, Taysom's the quarterback. We got Mike Thomas at the bottom of the screen. We got man-to-man -man coverage. So right here, if we freeze it, the cornerback's in decent position, right? He's in that hip pocket. He's where he wants to be. He's squeezing Mike towards the sideline, really shrinking down that field. But the quarterback still has that confidence in him to complete the ball and to, for Mike to make the play on this play. You know, he could have easily come down and found his check down right here. He could have easily pulled the ball down and, and tried to scramble. But he said, no, my guy's better than yours. I'm gonna put it to where my guy can get it. And again, like Mike does, Mike goes and gets it. Toe tap, big first down. So to summarize the three things that really jumped off the film when I was breaking down Mike Thomas's 2019 game film, the first thing was that technique that he has and how he uses his technique to exploit the defense. You know, by knowing when it's man coverage, knowing when it's zone, knowing what grass that defender has to cover, whether it's a corner or a safety, he makes that defender have to cover that grass by using his stem, by using his pace and his tempo, and by making that defender have to respect the fact that he might go there by using that jab, and he takes advantage of that to create separation at the end of the play. The second thing that really jumped out is how he runs every route to win and how he really wants it more than his defender. You know, it didn't matter whether it was man coverage, whether it was a zone coverage, whether the defense was in the right call, whether the, the, the defender knew his route on the play. It didn't matter because he always dictated the tempo he always wanted it more than the defender at the finish of the play, and he always finished the play in a dominating position. The third thing that really jumped off the film in breaking down his 2019 game film was the level of confidence that his quarterbacks had in him. You know, it wasn't only with Drew Brees, it wasn't only with the backup with Teddy Bridgewater, but we also saw it with their, with their utility guy, with Taysom Hill, having that high level of confidence in him to win at the finish of the play. Now, as a player, that level of confidence comes from consistency. It doesn't come from making a big play in one game or to have a big play in two games and, and now you've arrived. You know, you have to show up day in and day out with that high level of consistency. And over time, that's where that confidence is built up. There's one thing I can tell you. I can tell you that, that Sean Payton probably told both Teddy and Taysom that, you know, if it's man to man and it's even, throw that ball to Mike. And that's because of the level of confidence he has in his execution based on the consistency that he has. If this video was helpful, let me know by commenting pro in the comments below. If there's another player's film that you want me to break down, let me know who that player's name in the comments below. Make sure to take those nuggets from this film breakdown. If there's something that you can take away, something that you can add to your game. I mean, every player can dictate the tempo. Every player could want it more than their opponent. So if there's one thing you take away from this film, take away that. So keep putting in that work so that you can take your game to your next level, and I'll see you in the next one.